Since starting school two years ago, cerebral palsy sufferer Marianne Phillips has come on in leaps and bounds. Through the use of the sensory room, this little girl can now express herself in ways her family never thought possible. Now her mum, Donna, wants Mary Ann to have a sensory room of her own. She's set up an appeal on auction website eBay to raise the £5,000 they need. I'm eBay mad and we do a lot of things on eBay on the community forums, a lot of charity fundraising. So I thought, well, if I can sell items and make money that way, then all will be well. Everybody has been great. We've had donations come through, through emails. We've had people donating through quizzes that we do on there. It has been fantastic. They've been great. eBay say they currently have lots of small charities working together with larger organisations. They're happy for personal fundraising to take place within the site and say that Donna's not the only person to have this idea. With as many as 5,000 charity organisations using the site, eBay is becoming more popular with this type of fundraising. By selling her children's old toys, Donna is slowly getting closer to her target to build a sensory room in Mary Ann's bedroom. Doctors say this type of treatment can really help children with disabilities. Cerebral palsy has many different treatments because it can affect people in so many different ways. From a mild impairment, just for example, of one arm or one leg, to people who are very severely impaired with the whole of their body involved. The treatment is very much um, geared up to the, the family being involved um, and giving it up to the individual needs of the child. More and more people are using novel treatments such as um, uh, something called conductive therapy or sensory treatments which people find often very helpful. The brightly coloured lights in the sensory room help to stimulate Mary Ann's mind, allowing her to express her emotions. Bubble tubes like this can cost up to £900 each but are so important for development. Equipment like the projector and fibre optics help staff to support children like Mary Ann. She's just completely changed from day one till now. You can tell that we're trying so hard in there. We're just trying new things and she's helping us as well by responding to it. A sensory room in Mary Ann's bedroom would be really great. She'd be so happy in there. She'd just like lie down. She'd spend literally hours in there, I think, because she just smiles. She lies on this bubble tube and she just giggles and laughs to herself. And I just think it would be really beneficial and it would help here as well. At the moment, Mary Ann only uses a sensory room once a week at school. But with the initiative of her mum and the kindness of other eBay members, Marianne is well on the way to having her very own sensory room.